Right, hello YouTube, Military Reviews UK here and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the German M62 gas mask right here. Now, those of you familiar with the M65 will probably notice some differences already. In many ways this mask is practically identical to the M65 but there are some differences and that is what I'm going to be looking at in this video. Now I've got an M65 here as well. So on the left is the M65, here is the M62. So the first difference you'll notice with these masks is the XL valve covers. So on the M65 it's a plastic card guard and on the M62 it's a metal one. Uh, the holes are smaller and they're more sort of compact in a tighter group whereas on the plastic one they're much more spread out. Another difference is the intake valves, so you'll notice on the M62 there's just a single bar going across it and it's all made of metal, whereas on the M65 there's more of a cross and the assembly is made of plastic. So that is pretty much it for the external differences. Uh, so, I'm going to take a look inside and I'll show you the differences in there. Right, so this is the inside of the M62, and this is the inside of the M65. Now on the M65 it has a proper oral nasal cup uh, with uh, valves in the top of it uh, for airflow from the inhale valve from when you breathe in, um, and it also helps prevent the uh, eye lenses fog up, I think, because it stops uh, you breathing onto the eye lenses and fogging them up. Uh, and the inner face seal wraps around and folds over like this. I'm not sure uh, what the difference in effectiveness of the seal is with that, but um, that is a difference. And down here, the face seal goes around under the oral nasal cup and has a uh, little slit there so sweat can drain out and stuff. Um, I think that's it for the internal differences as well, other than the uh, mesh cover on the inside there is slightly different from the M62. So now we'll have a look at the M62's inside. So you'll notice the oral nasal cup. Uh, it's more of an air deflector than a oral nasal cup. There's no proper seal around your face. All it does is deflect air you breathe out away from the eyepieces and out through the valve. Um, there's no uh, sort of sweat slit thing for drainage or whatever and this is the outer seal. It's just a thicker bit of rubber so it, there's no gap under it, it doesn't wrap around or thing, it's just a thicker piece of rubber. So I'll focus the camera there so you can see it better. And that is the inside. And I think actually another difference is the inhale valve down there. I'll show you that on the M65 as well. Uh, I need to get the head straps over now. Have a look in there. I know it's pretty much the same. If you can see that. Uh, get the light in there, there you go. It's pretty much the same. So there you have it. That is the M62 and M65. Both pretty similar masks, but as I've just shown you, they do have their differences. So the M65 was the replacement model for the M62. The M62 entered service in 1962 and was only manufactured and issued between 1962 and 1965 which is where the M65 came in. So the M65 is an upgraded version of the M62 essentially and because the M62 was only produced for three years it does mean it's a lot harder to find than the standard M65 but as you can see here, they are still possible to obtain. 
So I got mine off eBay.de for I can't remember now about 25 quid maybe, which you might say, well, that's a lot considering you can get an M65 for 15 quid. But as I've said, they're a lot harder to find, and it's another mask to add to my Bundeswehr mask collection. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try and get around to answering them. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the ne my next video. Goodbye for now.